Using the International Society for Medical Shockwave Treatment Guidelines for the treatment of different body conditions with shockwave therapy, you'll notice that most of their energy recommendations are in something called energy flux density, which is millijoules per millimeter squared and is probably the more precise way to measure shockwave therapy energy. Most radial uh, shockwave therapy devices these days, however, do have a bar pressure measurement instead as an adjustment for determining the amount of energy that you're delivering. These two actually measure different aspects of the shock wave. Bar pressure is kind of like, if you'll imagine a pond, uh, the size of the stone that you throw. It tells how strong the impact is when the stone hits the water. Energy flux density is measuring how much energy spreads out from the splash across the ripples. Converting between the two is tricky because there are different variables here and a lot of different physics involved. But this table represents a pretty good relative estimation of the equivalence between bar pressure and energy flux density. So if you are finding measurements for your particular treatment, given in millijoules per millimeter squared, you can use this table to pretty reasonably estimate the equivalent in bar energy.